There you go, folks. We are here with Trevor, who's been on the streets of Dublin for how long? On and off, 20 years. 20 years? On and off. On and off. What triggered your homelessness? Um, well, my mother committed suicide when I was 17. She was 27 years of age. Grandkids. And looking back in the now, I reckon it was because she didn't have time to go through that postnatal depression because right. she had a kid every year for, for 12 years. Every year? Every year. Was it the same dad? Was it the same? Yeah. Alright. And she committed, and that's really tragic. Yeah. How old you've been at that I point? Seven, you, you were seven. Because what has a man is homeless doesn't mean he's uh, abusing these substances. I've been in and out of hostels and I've been living in tents. Um, so altogether, probably on the streets, probably five years. You say I'm not blind, I'm a con artist and a fake and a phony. I went into care of the HSE and I went from care home to care home. There's a high proportion of them are probably drug addicts right. and crack addicts. Cocaine, yeah, yeah, the yeah. In and, and heroin. I don't, when I was a kid, that I had to get my sisters out of the house because the house went on fire and I was, was the only one that could, because the rest of them were all underneath me, my age, and my ma, my dad, and my little brother died in the fire. And, uh, I'm an alcoholic, but I haven't drank in 19 months. And uh, I went through a bad time with drinking that and going to drugs and that. It was seven. And what happened? 17. 17. And what happened after that? After that, then uh, I started getting mixed up with drugs. Just to get away from feelings of, of, of uh, bereavement, you know. Um, and then my little brother, he was uh, he was careful either way. He had a lot of complications, you know, with mental handicap, he was cerebral palsy. He, he had a shunt on to his head. He drank the fluid of his brain, you know, stuff like that. And uh, he died after my mom, two years after my mom, in 2000. Um, so, yeah, after 2000, then my sister, my sister Catherine died of a massive uh, brain hemorrhage. Um, and that was in 2004. Yeah, um, 2007 then was, um, um, I got clean. Yeah. You got clean? Uh, clean from drugs. What, uh, what drugs are we talking about here? Uh, we're talking about ecstasy and cocaine. All right. Yeah. So uh, I got clean from that. And um, I was clean for four years. And my father, he committed suicide. Your father? My father. As well? As well, yeah. It was four all together my family committed suicide. My father committed suicide. He, um, he couldn't live with the guilt and the shame of, you know, they had a fight that day. My mother committed suicide. How many years after your mother um, was that? In 2000 and 2010, so would be 13 years. 13 years 13 after? Years. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, completely drunk or alcoholic, you know. Well, yeah. How did they die? Um, one, took, one took their own life. Yeah, and one took them. Um, how are you, pal? Thank you very much. Have a lovely night. Alright. Take care, man. Thank God, that's okay. Um, yeah, so, um, so that was yeah, that was that yeah, 2010. Yeah, in 2011, 2014, I relapsed because my sister took her own life. Yeah, she took a lot of pills. Yeah. Um, yeah, she was very close to me. Very close to me. Yeah. yeah, she was very close to me. Yeah, Sunday, Scarcher. I love you. She took a lot of pills, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Trevor, uh, where do you usually sleep? I sleep uh, over the Q car park at the back of the evening screen. You've got like a place there? Um, oh, yeah, do you yeah, have a place? No, it's just a doorway. On a doorway? All oh, right. How are you coping in the in the winter time? Is you still well, on? In the winter time, I will feel, I will try to get into a hostel. To a hostel. Yeah. 
Is there is there a lot of help you get from the government? Um, no, no. Hostels? Because, no, because I I won't sleep in a hostel. Uh, they won't pay me. Uh, uh, social welfare. You don't get any social money. No. You, because you don't sleep in the, in hostels. If you would, you would get some yeah. money, yeah. right? That's the case. I see. Well, Trevor, uh, tell me about your like childhood growing up in a, in a big family like that. It was in, in Dublin you grew. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun time. Must be because there's lots yeah. of kids all together. Yeah, yeah. So how many rooms did you have? So much more playing Jason. How many rooms did you have in the house? It was pretty small. It was a three-bedroom house. Like. Three-bedroom house, 13 kids. Yeah. Was it in, in Dublin? In Dublin, yeah. In Dublin, yeah. That's amazing, man. So it was pretty good childhood till your mother took her life away, yes? And what about... Yeah? Sorry? What about schooling? What schools did you... School and there. I went to school, but I didn't finish my... Uh, my, 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 my junior shirt and my junior shirt, you know. Um, again, I went, I went to work at the pubs as an lounge boy, and then as a, as a, um, as a barman, I became a, a barman. A barman, right? Yeah, I worked in many various pubs for, for, uh, for the space of maybe five or six years. Five or six, six, six years, yes. Yeah. How right, what about jobs? Jobs, yeah, that, that, yeah, that, that, as a barman, yeah. As a barman, right, okay. And then what about your, your have you got family? Have you yeah, yeah, I still have a couple of sisters, yeah. You still have children? Yeah, children, yeah, children, yeah. In Dublin? Oh, right. Yeah, one is 22 and one is 9. All right. All right. And uh, you see, if there's somebody watching this and would like to help you, is there a phone number, email, or something like that that can uh, get hold of you? No, no, we don't even have a phone. You don't even have a phone, all right. And what about the, the, you've been on the streets for so long, what about the number of homeless people in, in Dublin? Is it growing or is it in decline? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's grown. The homeless people in Dublin is grown and grown and grown. Down. It's grown. It's, uh, it's, grown. it's, it's, it's right. so many people. What's the main uh, uh, triggers? Is it drugs? Um, no, no, it's family. Families. Families, it's, they're being evicted from their landlords. Like, yeah, because you've been told, like, uh, you know, you have to vacate the premises because such and such and such and such, you know, like, yeah. Uh, we gave you some. Yeah, the, the, the high know. price, the yeah, high price yeah, crisis yeah, is hitting yeah. Ireland, and you see more and more people on the yeah, streets, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the whole families yeah, actually yeah, yeah, yeah. on the streets. So uh, again, back to uh, yeah, um, 2020, then uh, my brother he committed suicide. He saved my life. He uh, killed us when I was together in the bed, in the same bedroom. And I was having to get an infection in my lungs. But I was seeping in to my heart and I was attacking my heart. And I was on the bed, like, you know, like in and out consciousness. And then. Uh, I was in and out consciousness. And for my brother to wake up, it's like God coming down and shaking your hand. It just doesn't happen. You know, but he woke up that night. You know, and got me an ambulance. Last person I seen when I went in the combo was his face. The first person I seen when I came out of the combo was his face. And uh, while I was in hospital, he committed suicide. He hung himself on a tree. He hung himself on a tree. Yeah, so that was the, the last thing I saw. What triggered that? Drugs. He always said for six years. He was going to, he, he said for six years, he said to me, I, I'm going to do it. I don't believe, I'm, I don't belong in this area. All right, I, there, was, there were the red yeah, flags yeah, before. I yeah, think so God kept him on this area to keep me alive. You know, he saved my life. And then, yeah, he, um, he, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he saved my life. You know. All right, Trevor. And uh, maybe there is an if there is an advice from you for people 
uh, who are the, the messing with drugs. What would you say to, to you know with people who are messing with drugs? Yeah, I walk away. I walk away. I walk away. That's why I don't go to the homeless hostels, you know, because it's too many drugs. In the hostels. What about like, uh, uh, you know, because I know there are some Polish homeless people as well, and they, they uh, what's the proportion of the migrants, uh, the foreign migrants, you know, homeless in, in Dublin? Is, is that a, how many, how many actually f emigrants are homeless in, you know, like, what you say, 50, 50, 50 percent Irish? Well, in the hostels, maybe, maybe. 25 percent with Irish. All right, yeah. foreigners, right? Yeah. Well, it's grown. It's grown and foreigners more and more. More and more foreigners. Because of the Ukraine and stuff like that, you know, yeah. and uh, people losing their jobs, you know, stuff like that, you know. But, um, it's yeah, it's gotten a lot better, but you know, but we're not human beings, you know. Everybody deserves a chance. This is nobody's er, this is nobody's country as in like Ireland like or anywhere. This is God's country. You know? Not, well said Trevor. Well thanks a lot for the interview. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. And uh, well I hope you comment under the video on Zupa Vlog. I will and check up. Uh, how many weeks ago? Hmm? How many weeks do I have to wait this? A couple of weeks. Couple of weeks so yeah, it should be. Yeah. All right. All the best. Cheerio. God bless you. Yeah, too, man.